So I was figuring that this would happen in some form or fashion, and it would seem, according to PC Guide, and I will link you to this very comprehensive article that they've done here, they've compared the results in gaming and the multi-core performance before and after this Intel beta BIOS update. Now this is using a test system. They have the Intel i9 14,900K processor along with an ASUS. If you, if you prefer ASUS, that's perfectly okay as well. Maximus Z790 Dark Hero board. And they have Corsair memory at 6,800 MTS. So, you know, it's a very, very fast computer system. And what they concluded was the multi-core performance is lacking, is less after this BIOS update. Now, keep in mind that this is a beta update. And we would rather, I think, I know I would, I would rather for the system to be stable than not. However, if you have a CPU, whether it's the 13th or 14th gen, and if it is degraded, this BIOS fix apparently won't resolve the issues with it. So if it's instable, it will probably still be instable after, um, you know, the update. But yeah, so multi-core performance is lacking, but the good thing here is that gaming performance is not really affected, or at least that is what they have concluded. So good news, bad news, I guess. <laughs> oh boy. We'll see where all this um, you know, ends up because only now are manufacturer is starting to update their BIOSes to resolve some of the instability with the Intel processors. And this whole process with if you're affected, will you get an RMA? Will you get a new chip? Will they refund you? Um, I don't know. I mean, this is still, this is still quite a mess. But at least, you know, it kind of looks a little brighter if you have one of these CPUs. And like I said, keep in mind that this is still beta BIOSes, right? So once they perfect it, maybe it'll get a little bit better. Are kind of like we getting what we paid for from Intel when we bought, you know, a very expensive maybe i9 processor, our 14th or 13th gen? Well, probably not. <laughs> 